trail arm adduction. So there is some arm engagement in the golf swing. I don't want you to feel like it's just completely passive the entire golf swing. If I was hammering this nail in, you can see that my trail arm, I'm definitely using it. The only difference is we're using it on this plane in the golf swing. Same thing for this type of move. We've gone over how you're feeling this over here. Now in the golf swing, same thing. If I didn't use my arms at all and I just kept them there and rotated, you could see how trapped behind me that trail arm would be. So we wanna feel some of this trail arm adduction, feeling like it's flexed and you're moving it towards extension and the impact. That's really gonna give you that shaffling that you want. It's gonna help get that lead arm exploding off the chest. Now you're not gonna actually have it completely straight at impact unless you're one of these guys that pops up way too early. If you've lowered, you will be straightening it, but it's happening after impact out here. So flexed, it's in the midst of extending, you're still gonna be bent at impact, and then it's completely extended out here. But you are engaged, you are using it, you're not just staying completely passive with the arms the entire golf swing. A lot of it's dependent on where you are up top as well. Some of these guys that are more across have a little bit more of that wait for it moment to get that club into a more playable plane. Some of the guys that are a little bit shorter, already pre-planed, they can activate it even a little sooner. So find out what player you are, match it all up appropriately and understand it's okay to feel some engagement with that trail arm reduction. Good luck.